Hey guys and welcome to another FIFA 23 video. So we're going to be opening the Super Loans Team Pack to basically see what we can get inside this. I'm not too sure what we can get, but we're going to be getting ourselves, I guess, maybe like a full squad of it being 11 players. You know, defenders, goalkeeper, mids, forwards, a bit of a mixture of all that. Every single card is going to have 99 games on them. Can't check any probabilities to see if we could get maybe any promo players. So... We'll just see what we can get in a second. But this was part of the Dan Juma footballers objective who uh, who I just unlocked as well. You both get the Super Loans pack and the Dan Juma as your completion um, for completing the, the whole set of like, I think it's 13 segments or something like that. If we just go to it now, it's the play to ball objective. So go through all these 13 different segments. A few decent packs and a couple of players back in return as well from the Saudi League and from the, uh, from the Scottish League. And then eventually once you completed it all, you get yourself the Dan Juma card who I might review. I might review him. Um, I don't know if there'll be a way to upgrade this particular Dan Juma in a few days. I'm going to assume we won't be able to. But he looks decent. And then you get yourself the Super Loans team pack as well. So, what will the Super Loans team pack contain? I'm hoping it contains promo cards. Um, otherwise, I don't really see the excitement in it. Because uh, if it's just going to be gold, then um, people probably already have better than uh, better than that. Don't do really in their teams. So... Let's just hope for a few promo players. That was anticlimactic. It just all I thought it was going to actually do the whole pack animation. So I don't know if everyone is going to be take, is going to actually get the same thing as us here, but it seems to be. So yeah, you get a set of defenders, midfielders, and attackers. A bit of a mixture out of it all to try and make a full team. So we've got ourselves a few winter wild cards here. In terms of any players that I'd actually consider using. I mean, some of them will be useful for objectives. So I'm not going to discard any of them with 99 games. Vicky will probably be pretty full. Mascherano is not too bad. Lamar's actually probably the best out of all of them. Tuka Mancani obviously has the chance to get upgrades as well. And just because I got the loan, it doesn't mean if he got a team of the week, obviously his ones to watch would upgrade, and so would the loan version at the same time. So that one's pretty cool. The rest of them aren't upgradable cards. Fred, if he was based as a central player, would be pretty good. I mean, it'd be interesting to use as a centre forward as well. Um, and for a Premier League keeper, Butland's a good option because I don't really have a Prem keeper. So if there's any challenges that I need to complete with Prem players, both Godfrey and Butland are going to be good for that. Um, and Govu as well is actually not too bad at the same time. So I think it's decent. I think obviously getting Dan Juma as well is the main kind of attraction towards doing that objective. And I might be doing a review on him to see if he's really worth the effort. But then this is what you can expect to get in your super team loan packs as well. I don't know if it's going to always be the exact same or just a mixture of cards. Um, from all the promos that we've had, but uh, I guess it's not too bad to be able to do. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.